Hi guys, welcome back. My name is Jean and this is Creatively Jean. Okay, I have a small Timu haul here for you. So let's kind of push this stuff off to the side. And got this. And I was looking for one other thing. Here we go. All right. All right, the first thing we have is I'm collecting all these different containers so that I can send out prizes on occasion. Found these really cute unicorns. So they'll be perfect for sequin mixes or putting in beads or charms or whatever. So you get the two halves and they're, they hold pretty well. I gotta line them back up there. So they hold probably they're really cute though. They only had clear. So you get 12 of them and they were $7.53. So, okay, put that aside. Then, try to stay in order. I found these really cute, they're chair, they're little chairs and they're beads. So cute, look at these. Oh, they look like teddy bears. From the back too, they look like a little teddy bear. So you just get the multicolor packs. They don't let you choose. I've noticed that a lot on AliExpress lately, that they don't let you choose just one color on a lot of things lately, which is okay, I guess. But so you get the yellows and the pinks and the purples and the greens, and they should fit on my pens. This is one of my pens here. They should fit on there. Kind of cute little chair on there. It's so darn cute. Okay, and those were 10, you get 10 of them for $3.58. I think I need to bring you guys down just a little bit. I have a different setup for right now because I'm doing some work right now. So I had to do a temporary table for right now. Let's push this a little bit over the side. But those I thought were really cute. I just love getting all these different um, beads that they have out nowadays for their pens. Before you basically just had round beads now you get so many different ones okay then i found these really cute um little they have a little crown on them i've gotten some other beads that ha have these similar effects on them okay, since i stuck there you go that they have all the like the pearls and everything on them this one has a crown on it so cute you have that it's like a peach color one and then you've got the pink and then you've got kind of like the mint green one. And probably looks right down here. Black one. Not my favorite, of course. And a yellow one. So let's see if we can figure out. The only thing when you get these is it's a, the hole can be blocked by some of the beads. Because it just kind of like, so I have to kind of work my little to get it through there. And you got to kind of clean out the hole and it'll go on like that but they're cute you just got to kind of clean out the hole yourself though because they have um they they tape those on there i'm pretty sure they're taped on they're cute though and those were you got five of them for four dollars and 49 cents now when i looked up the price for these they said discontinued i will look to see if there's a different seller Sometimes you can find a different seller, sometimes not. But so these are discontinued and they might have been discontinued because of the fact of how the beads plug up the holes. But I've managed to get all of them that I've bought in the past to work. You just have to really work that hole and get all the, the beads from inside the hole. Then I found these gumball machines. Now they didn't offer the topper for them, but most people have their own beads. In fact, I grabbed some old, I, these are the, what they call the, the 20 mil bubblegum beads, gumball beads. And then they would just go right on top like that. Isn't that cute? So this one's got the crackle finish inside. And this one's more of, put the hole down, the, um, just a solid color. I like these crackle ones the best. And then what you would do, again, it would go on like that. And then it would go on like that. Now, isn't that adorable? I like the crackle ones. And then I have some other ones that look like they have water bubbles inside. I can't find those right now offhand because, you know, here I go 
redesigning again. Does anybody else do that? Just, just never leave the craft room alone. I really like these. These are so cute. Though. I like it with that bead too. Like it, that bead over the solid color. Now, the only thing with this is, again, you could not choose your colors. And again, I got almost all dark colors. I really didn't like some of the colors I got. But you could repaint these if you wanted to. So I will I will use them or repaint them. But so that was the only thing I didn't like about this set is, you know, I got all dark colors instead of, you know, I they could do a better job at, at giving you the same amount. Or, I mean, different colors and kind of the same amount. Like they could have gave me three of each color, two of each color, whatever. You know, I had three blacks, three reds, two browns, and then only one of the pastel colors. And I think they had other pastel colors too. So those were 10 of them for $2.24. But they're so cute, and we will use them most definitely. Okay. And let's see. Which ones? I'm going to make sure I grab the right one first. Got these flower flatbacks, which I thought these ones are really, really cute. They got an iridescence to them. So I don't want to get too close because then I lose my lighting. Let's put a light up here a little bit. So you can see colors got some mint and then i got these kind of almost like a light silvery gray the purple and these are white and then these are like a light pink really light pink so these are let me grab the ruler these are almost an inch in diameter and they're they're fairly flat they are about a quarter inch don't mind me if you see ink and everything on me. I was working before this, and, you know, the ink just doesn't come off. So you can put uh, a bale on the back if you want to turn it into a charm. Let's see if I have my bale sitting right here. You know, sometimes I get lucky, and the bale is right here. But, you know, like I said, I've been moving things around, so I don't see it. Or just put it flat down onto a project. So those are really cute. You get 12 of them. And they were $2.98. Cute, cute, cute. These coffee mug ones, they were so cute. It's amazing that, you know, I'm on there enough. And I still find things I've never seen before. In fact, my cart is empty because I pretty much, you know, got everything that I wanted that was in my cart. So these are little charms. And they got a little coffee mug. Let me get in here. And they got a little heart. So they're a little coffee cup. They're hollow inside. These are metal. And they got enamel painting on them. And they got the little heart. So that one has the red or pink heart. You got a white heart. You got the black heart. You got the red heart. And you got a dark pink heart. So let me get these in there. You got pink and yellow and white. So cute. I thought those are so cute. So you got six of them for only a dollar nine. I thought that was a pretty good, pretty good price for those. I may get another pack of them, or those might have been sold out. There was a couple things that were discontinued, and those I think were sold out at this point. But we'll find them now. I bought these paper clips because I, if you guys see my video on. I, I showed you how to make paper clips. Like, here's some of them. I wanted to show you, in my opinion, how much nicer it is to make your own paper clips. Like, if you've seen the video, it's it's out, it's been out already. And these are some of the ones we made in the video. This is silicone. These are this one I made double sided They're flat backs, a wood piece, some flowers. We made some other ones. But how much prettier those are, okay? And those costed me hardly nothing. These are what I bought, just to show you the quality. 10 of these, and they were $2.48. One, they're the smaller, let me bring one back out. One, they're smaller, okay. Why am I having problems with my camera today, girl, guys? Like, it's over here, Jean. Okay, look at the difference in size. I paid $2.48 for these. Now, I've got one, two, three of them that I'm gonna have to re-glue on, first of all, you know. Okay, so let me grab one that I glued onto the back. Let me see if I got my flat back here. You cannot even see. Here we go. 
Okay, so the back of theirs, there's all the glue. The back of the ones we made, you can hardly see the glue. That's overkill on glue as far as I'm concerned. Now, I probably will just use these. I'm not going to glue them back on because I don't think the quality is very nice. I don't like, you know, I'm, I'm afraid they're not going to hold anyways once it gets some heat. And so I'm just going to use these. I had three, but like I said, I have three of them, four of them, four of them that fell right off the paper clip for that price. So make your own. But I wanted to buy a couple packs to show you the difference in, you know, and these are just things I got off of Timu. Like this would look really cute. I'll put, I'll just kind of cover that end up. You can put one of those on there. So I'll link this video in the description below so you can see how easy it is to make your own paper clips. And price wise, you know, it's, you know, you get 10 to 12 of these in a pack. So you get your paper clips and, and you know, you get a lot of paper clips in the pack. I prefer the, the larger paper clips. You can use the smaller ones. Again, 10 for $2.48. And I also did buy the sunflower pack. So I thought I'll buy two different packs to, to see. And this one, I don't think I had any that were that fell off. But okay, the sunflower I bought, the sunflower I did. Which one do you prefer on your project? Again, 10 for $2.48. This is a silicone and I showed you how easy it was to put on. This is a silicone uh, focal bead. And these are just little, look how much glue they put on the back. You know you're gonna see that on your journals because you're gonna, when you put it on, when you put it on your journal pages or whatever, you know, if you're flipping your page, you are gonna see that from the back side. If you're flipping the page of this one, what do you see on the back of that one? You don't even really see the glue. Your choice. I just wanted to show you. Put that out there. That be careful when you buy. I've, I bought some from Dollar Tree that are usually a little better. So be careful what you buy. Because the quality isn't always very nice. That was, that was my little test for you guys. Okay. We have some cute butterfly beads. Yes, I changed my voice there. All right, pen. Oh, these are so cute. So they're like a solid bead inside in the middle and then the clear bead on the outside. Those are so stinking cute. So that's a green. This one's black, but I think, I don't know, it's black or purple because down here it looks purple. So I'm thinking it's a pur dark purple. This one's a lighter, like a pinkish. Look at that one's cute. This one is pink in the middle for sure, but it almost looks like a yellowish. And then I, you got your blue one here with some pink down here. I can see adorable. And will they work? Oh, yes, they work. So, of course, I would put a round bead. Where's my round bead? See, I got some beads to keep on handy. I wouldn't put that size. I'd put a smaller size. But I'd put some round, a round bead down first. Adorable. All right. I really like these ones. Five of them for $1.79. I think that's a really good price for those. Those are really cute. They were a lot cuter in person than they were on the picture. A lot of things that I buy, I buy on purpose because they they can make the picture look really, really nice. But I've gotten some things that weren't nice at all. And I usually tell you guys if, if they're, I don't like them. So, and I have told you that. All right, nail art, where are you? Little heart. Oh, these were so tiny. But it's nail art. I know it's tiny. I expect it to be tiny because I like nail art. Well, it looks like I just pull right there. There it is. And in these, you've got 20. I got the 20 pack. You can get in the 20 or the 10. I got the 20 pack because they were so stinking cute. They have a little flower in the corner of the heart. And you get all different little pastel colors. That's cute to see the little, little flower. Right up in the corner. So cute. I forgot to measure the butterflies for you too. So let me measure those quick and I will measure the other one. Uh, about an inch. Just a hair over inch. This way is about one and one eighth inch. Whoops. 
this new setup, I've got to get used to where the camera is. Okay, and these are really tiny. What color will show best? Maybe this one looks like it might show the best. This is, let me read it first, about three-eighths. About three-eighths that way. Let's turn it. And we have about, ooh, stay there. Get it on there. About a quarter of an inch. So I thought those were really cute. I like the nail art for my like cards and stuff. I like just a little something, you know, embellishment sometimes. And you don't when you don't want something really big. I got the 20 piece and they were 98 cents for the 20 piece. So get those were cute. Next on our list is some barrel beads. Okay, so the barrel beads are things you can use. So your barrel barrel beads have a loop on them. You can see the loop there. So you can hang charms off of that. Now these ones, I'm not sure if it'll fit my pen. The other one I got, yes, they will. So you can put them on, like you can put it on the very top and hang your charms, or you can put it in the middle and hang your charms however you want. So that's some, one of the things that I get when I want to hang charms on my pens, which we will be doing a segment on. We did the pens, beaded pens, but we didn't do charms on them, and we're going to do charms. So we did... I got some more barrel beads and stuff so I can show you different things. So this was a 20 pack for only 89 cents. That's a really good price for those. And they are metal, of course. And I got the silver ones in those. I don't think they had gold. I think they just had just the silver. Okay, and then I got the 50 pack of barrel beads. And these ones are a little bit bigger. Oh my goodness, and I'm not going to take all of them out because I don't want to pay, play 50 pickup barrel. Okay, and I'll put one next to each other so you can see the size difference. And I believe the smaller one, does it say what size was that on there? Mm -mm, nope, it didn't tell me what size that was. And I don't think the big one did. Okay, so that's a, your size difference. They're not too too much of a size difference. But this one definitely has a bigger hole. I'll try to hold them up. But they both work on the pens. You'll find either one will work. And let me see if that one says. Nope, they don't say what size they are. I'm going to try to hold that on without rolling around. And it is about 3 sixteenths. About 3 sixteenths. And that plenty big for the pens. And I think I have one of my fairy garns, but we're going to have to go upside down. That's what they use on here. For what we used on making our fairy garn sticks. So these should be the, the size I need for those. Perfect. They'll fit on there. For So you got the charms hanging off of there. So that's, I'll use the bigger hole most likely for here. When we make some more of them. And that, for the 50 pack of that, it was only $1.79. So, snatch on to that one. That was a good price for that one. I found these really cute. They're spiral beads, but they remind me of, like, shells. They were so cute. I'm just going to take a few out. They have, like, a gold swirl going around them. Don't they look like a shell, though? So you can use them in your ocean theme projects. And there's so many different colors in the yellows. I don't know if these will fit on my pens. Don't quite think so. Nope. So I'll use those for dangles and stuff. But this one's like kind of marbling effect to it. So it's got a marbling. That one's hard to see. You got this one might be able to see a little bit more of the marbling effect. You can see the green and the whites. But aren't those pretty? And so this pack was 30 of them for $2.11. I thought that was a really good price. They're so cute. I'll find many uses for those. I just like that gold running through it. Put that there. Let's see. We got some of these metallic spacers. And these will fit on my pens just as well. And they will fit on... I'll just take one out because there's two different styles here. I'll just take one out for now of each one. And this one, 
this one here that's got all the diamond cutting that one is 20 you get for two dollars and 24 cents and this other one which has like the little bumps on it you get 20 of them for a dollar 70 and they're a little bit different in size they're metallic they're they're not metal but they're metallic finish on them and they will definitely fit on to your pens so make really great spacer beads and i will just take one pack just because the colors are pretty much the same in both packs so you can see all the colors you've got the blues the teals the kind of goldish yellow this one's a, like a smoky greens reds pinks so all these I'm trying to see the color just bear with me until i get this set up where my new table is going to be so i like those i like to have different spacer beads to go on the pens like say i do now you know this is not going to look good because i'm you know using funky stuff right now but i like to put different spacers in between like that and i like different textures i like different colors so those will work really nice for that okay our next thing we have okay so i got these these are one of the other things that i use for the top of my pens to add charms on and this one came with i got the the gold and the silver you get a little discount sometimes when you buy both colors so i got the gold and the silver i'm just going to open one pack because they're both exactly the same and it comes with this cute little maybe i can put them in there right away cute little container Woo! i landed that right on there and it went flying okay they're like gonna fit and you get a hundred pieces these are an eight mil eight millimeters which will be perfect for the top of my pens and i will show you i love that they give you containers sometimes and so there's the little loop on the top there and so that's another thing that I add on to the top of my pen. So let's grab those beads again. Beads, you're coming in handy, aren't you? Okay, let me get that. Boy, the cracker ones, you can't find the hole on, can you? Okay, so we're going to pretend it's all, I got it filled all the way to the top. And usually that's the last thing I'll put on top. And then I'll put your little cap on top and then you got that to hang your charms off. So that's another thing that I use. So I bought that. And it's, sometimes it's hard when you buy these because you're not sure of the whole size because they don't always tell you the whole size. But this one is perfect. Eight millimeters. And you guys got a hundred of them for $1.98 only. That'll last me. That'll last me. I mean, I could do a hundred pens. Of course that will. So I got that. So those are nice. So I got some silicone beads. Of course I did. My focal beads I just love. Got these cute little... This was a mix. You could get just one animal or the other. I got the mix pack. So this one has like the teddy bear or the unicorn or the panda bear. Now, I only got the six pack. You can get a 16 pack too, but I just got the six for now. And then, so you got the teddy bear. Again, we got don't odd numbers all the time. You know, we got, should have got a panda. But that's what they gave you. So six of those for $3.59. But they're so stinking cute. I love the little teddy bears. And they will fit right on with my little guy there. Look at that. So cute. They're just making so much cute stuff for pens now. It's adorable. I go a little overboard, but... Don't worry, I'll be sharing my stash with you guys. That's what I'm going to be doing for giveaways. Because quite frankly, I can't always use 100 beads. So those are going to, we're going to probably start. I'm trying to wait till I get my studio reset up and everything before I, because right now you can't find a whole lot in my studio. I call it a studio like I'm fancy. You know, it's a craft area. All right. These are the bow beads, silicone, but they have like the little mini head in the middle. Isn't that cute? 
So that one's gray with a pink. And you got blue. They all have a pink. Yeah, they're all pink. The little mini is pink. And then you got the pink bow, the purple, the yellow. This is a peach color. The red, the mint. This one was the gray. And then the blue. Adorable. I right, got this green bead. I'm going to keep using that green one. And then we'll put that on there. And now I would put my, on this one, I would put my bow right toward the top. Like that. Cute. You can put it in the middle if you want. I'll show you what the middle would look like. About in the middle. So you can, any way you want, you can put your focal beads on there. Put that over there so it doesn't slide away. And this one, you got 10 of them for $3.23. Again, I will link everything in the description below. Remember, prices do change. I did make $1.31 off of this order. So I got $1.31 back off of this order. What else we got over here? That one's under, it looks like our last thing here is, oh, these are just some spacer beads with the crystals on. Another thing. And it, you know what? It, you get deceived by the big holes sometimes. Because I try to get, uh, I get more of the big hole items than I do of the small hole. Because I like them for my pens and all that stuff. So this one did have the big, bigger hole. And then I'll put a couple on here so you can see the pretty crystals. Okay. And then they had crystals all the way around. So pretty. See how lovely they fit? And so sometimes, these beads are too big of course. But we're just, you know, showing you this for you know, demonstration purposes. Boy, these crackle ones are hard to find the hole. You cannot see it. Hello. But these these are too big, but that's what I would do. Probably could put another one up there, put smaller beads, and that's how I would put the spacer in between. I like putting spacers in between as much as I can. These ones, Da, 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 da. Okay, these ones were, you get 20 of them for $2.69. That's a good price for those two. So that, I think I got everything, got everything, yep. That is my little tiny Timu haul this week. I hope you've seen something that you like. I'm sorry if I make you spend money. <laughs> I keep myself on a budget though. You know, I, I, I have a budget. I'm not, I don't, I don't go out you know, I'm not a drinker or anything. I don't go to, you know, I don't, I, most of my craft stuff lately, I am buying off of Timu and, um, you know, I do buy from, you know, Dollar Tree, all that stuff, but you know, I'm on social security. I gotta, I gotta live on a budget too, but their stuff is, yes, you get quite a bit sometimes. Like sometimes like, do I really need a hundred? Well, I do share my stuff with, with other people and I will be sharing it with my giveaways, you know, for you guys, because you guys, are you know what's getting me to where I'm at and I've been doing this for two years and I'm over 5,000 subscribers already which is to me totally amazing and unbelievable and if it wasn't for you guys so I try to get back in some giveaways so all right so I hope you guys found something here you like and you know you'll see me again bye everyone